Hey guys, welcome to this video. We're going to solve for x, y, and z. First thing you want to do is take these first two and get rid of one of the variables. I'm going to get rid of x. So I'm going to multiply this top one by negative 3 and this bottom one by positive 2. So I end up with negative 6x minus 9y plus 15z equals 21. And this becomes positive 6x minus 12y plus 8z equals 6. Then I just add these two together, get negative 21y plus 23z equals 27. I'm going to use this later. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the second two. And I'm going to also get rid of x. So I'm going to leave this top one alone and multiply the bottom one by negative 3. So it's going to be 3x minus 6y plus 4z equals 3. So the top one was left alone, and then I multiply by negative 3. Negative 3x minus 12y minus 6z equals negative 45. Now when I add these together, this cancels negative 18y minus 2z equals negative 42. I notice these, these all can be divided by 2, so it simplifies to negative 9y minus z equals negative 21. I'm going to use this equation. Now we're going to take these two and try to get rid of another one of the variables. So I'm going to try to get rid of the z. So I'm going to multiply this bottom one by 23, so that it cancels with that z. So I'm going to bring this one over plus 23z equals 27, then multiply everything by 23. Negative 9 times 23 is negative 207y minus 23z equals, and 21 times 23 is 483, negative 483. Now I add these, the z's cancel. This is negative 228y equals, and then when I add these two, I get negative 456. And I divide both sides by negative 228. I get y equals 2. Now I can plug the y equals 2 into any of my equations. I'm going to plug it in down here. So I'm going to get negative 9 times 2 minus z equals negative 21. This is negative 18 minus z equals negative 21. I'm going to add 18 to both sides. Negative z equals negative 3. We get z equals 3. Now I can plug these two into any equation. I'll just plug it into this bottom one right here. So we have x plus 4 times 2 plus 2 times 3 equals 15. This is x plus 8 plus 6 equals 15. x plus 14 equals 15. Minus 14 from both sides, x equals 1. So now we have x equals 1, y equals 2, z equals 3. And that is the answer to the question. Hope that makes sense. Please like and subscribe. Check out andymath.com for more videos and study guides. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.